In terms of wedding expenses, it was traditional that the bride's family handled all the costs although nowadays the couple and their families tend to share this responsibility between them. Probably the most useful approach for you, your groom and your respective families to consider when you draw up the wedding budget is to be communicative and realistic. If your family is unable to bear the traditional bridal bill, talk to the groom's parents. They may be willing to assume a portion of the financial responsibility. There are probably some expenses that you and your groom can pay, thus taking some pressure off your families. The following is the traditional division of wedding expenses. However, there are times when tradition gives way to practicality, the question of who pays for what, really boils down to who is willing and able. The bride. The wedding ring for the groom. The bridesmaids dresses and gifts for attendance and the hen party. The groom. Wedding gift for the bride. The bride's wedding and engagement rings. The band's wedding license and certificate of marriage. Gifts for the best man and ushers. Wedding bouquet, corsages and buttonholes. Morning suits for the best man and ushers. The fees for clergy and vergers. The honeymoon and stag do. The bride's family. The entire reception. Wedding gift for the newlyweds. The bride's wedding attire and trousseau. Invitations, announcements and postage. Engagement and wedding photographs. Rental of church, organist and choir fees. Bridesmaids bouquets and flowers for church and reception. Wedding cars to take the bridal party to the ceremony and reception. Rehearsal dinner optional. Groom's family. Wedding clothes. Traveling expenses and hotel bills. Wedding gift for the newlyweds. Rehearsal dinner optional. The Wedding Guide UK is your perfect wedding planning partner and here to help you every step of the way. Happy planning.